Hello, I'm Guru Trikaranate, Gastroenterology Fellow from University of Minnesota, Minneapolis. First of all, on behalf of all my co-authors, I would like to thank GIE Editorial for providing us with this wonderful opportunity to present the findings of a study titled Diagnostic Yield of Bile Duct Brushings for Cholangiocarcinoma in Primary Sclerosis in Cholangitis, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. My co-authors for the study were Uday Kumar Navaneetan from Cleveland Clinic, Ohio, Basil and Joy from University of Connecticut, Farmington, John Vargo from Cleveland Clinic, Ohio, and Manzoor Parsi from Cleveland Clinic, Ohio. Primary sclerosis and cholangitis, which we shall be referring hereafter as PSC, is characterized by chronic inflammation of the biliary epithelium and progressive fibrosis, which often results in multifocal strictures throughout the entire biliary tree. PSC confers an increased risk for cholangiocarcinoma with a lifetime risk approaching as high as 10 to 15 percent. It is believed that nearly 10 percent of patients undergoing liver transplantation for primary sclerosis and cholangitis have undetected cholangiocarcinoma, which remains undiagnosed until the liver is explanted. This further adversely affects the liver transplantation outcome. Although some studies have indicated that cholangiocarcinoma is frequently diagnosed within the first three years of diagnosis of PSC, its occurrence is predominantly unpredictable. Further, it is often diagnosed at an advanced stage precluding curative resection. For making a diagnosis of cholangiocarcinoma, we cannot solely depend on the clinical picture and the liver biochemistry as they become abnormal only when the disease is fairly at an advanced stage, when at this stage there are limited treatment options. We therefore need a reliable diagnostic tool for early detection of cholangiocarcinoma in primary sclerosis and cholangitis. Tumor markers such as CA199 and radiological modalities such as MRCP are routinely used to screen patients with primary sclerosis and cholangitis for cholangiocarcinoma. This frequently triggers further investigations such as ESCP with bile duct brushings. Bile duct brushings is one of the commonly used methods for tissue sampling during ESCP. It is inexpensive and is easily available in community practice. However, we have come across several instances when patients question us as to how reliable a test is, particularly something like an ERCP with bile duct brushings, which is fairly invasive. Studies evaluating the accuracy of bile duct brushings for PSE stricture reports a sensitivity ranging from 8 to 85 persons. Such disparity makes it really hard for us to interpret these results. To this date, there has been no meta-analysis which has been conducted to address this clinical question. We therefore decided to embark on this meta-analysis to provide clinicians with a number to quote by pooling together all studies which examine the diagnostic accuracy of, of bile duct brushings in PSC strictures. We used the search terms primary sclerosis in cholangitis, PSC, cholangiocarcinoma, bile duct brushings, breast cytology, biliary tract cytology, and biliary breast cytology. Only studies with data available for the construction of 2 by 2 contingency table with true positive, false positive, true negative and false negative were included for our analysis. Case reports, editorials, review articles, studies that did not specifically evaluate primary sclerosis and cholangitis strictures, studies involving less than 10 patients and studies with insufficient data were excluded. A validated QADAS questionnaire was utilized to assess the quality of our studies. Pooling was performed by random effects model. The initial search was conducted by two of us. It yielded 702 articles, from which 11 articles were finally included for our meta-analysis. All the 11 articles were full-text articles. All the 11, art study, all, all the 11 studies were, full, uh, were published as full-text articles in peer-reviewed journals. The pool sensitivity and specificity of bile duct brushings for diagnosing cholangiocarcinoma on the basis of our meta-analysis was 43% and 97% respectively. The pooled positive likelihood ratio was 8.87 and negative likelihood ratio was 0.56. In our study, the pooled diagnostic ratio was 20.2. This means that if bile duct brushings in a PSE stricture shows cholangiocarcinoma, the patient has 20 times higher chance of having a true pathological diagnosis. The area under the receiver operating curve was 0.82. This suggests that bile duct brushings is, has moderately high diagnostic accuracy. Further, we could not identify any publication bias on basis of inspection of the funnel plot. We identified 
or wide disparity in the sensitivities reported across the studies, there could be multiple reasons. First of all, the location and size of the tumor could be, could be attributed for a difference in sensitivity as this is related to the difficulty in tissue acquisition. The distinction between malignant and benign PSE stricture is particularly confounded by the accompanying inflammation which often obscures cyclo cytological assessment as well as desmoplastic nature of the stricture leading to acellular samples. Other reasons cited include previous denting procedures, variations in the sampling technique and the evaluating cytopathologist and his or her ability to make a diagnosis of malignancy on the basis of few, cell, uh, few, uh, few number of cells. Finally, recurrent episodes of cholangitis could also influence the cytological evaluation. The moderate sensitivity of bile duct pressings definitely suggests that there is room for further improvement. We believe the sensitivity can be improved by, by obtaining good samples. Studies have shown that by submitting the entire brush for histolo histologic sampling as well as repeated endobiliary sampling aids in enhancing the sensitivity. Further, strict cytologic criteria should be applied and a good communication should be maintained between the gastroenterologist and the cytopathologist. Also, combining breast cytology results with tumor markers such as CA199 can further increase the sensitivity. Our meta-analysis was definitely not without any limitations. We did find considerable degree of heterogeneity among the included studies. We could not uh, find any specific reason for the heterogeneity. However, we, we believe that uh, it could be related to the endoscopist and cytopathologist experience which was not sufficiently addressed in these studies. Further, information on the type of brushes used in individual studies and the number of passes conducted in individual studies were, was not adequately reported. Nevertheless, PSE is a rare disease and high quality studies are scarce, hence we believe that the results we, uh, of our study have immediate applicability to practitioners. To conclude, bile duct brushings is a safe, simple and highly specific technique for diagnosing cholangiocarcinoma and primary sclerosing cholangitis. However, the modest sensitivity of bile duct brushings precludes its utility as a diagnostic tool for early detection of cholangiocarcinoma in patients with PSE. It is hoped that novel biomarkers will be obtained, will be developed that will enable us to identify PSE patients who are at high risk for cholangiocarcinoma. Until then, we should further continue refining bile depression techniques to achieve superior outcomes. Thank you.